See how the C C bill uh, configurations are uh, made from the back end by the site owner. So there is an option that says payment gateways on the settings page. The site owner can toggle between Stripe and C C bill. Once he is choosing C C bill as a business, the client will have one uh, merchant account or the client account. This is the account under which he can have multiple sub accounts. So he can have many sub accounts like this. So these are the sub accounts. So for or for the Fanso platform, we need two sub accounts. Okay, one is for recurring, that is subscription payments, and the other one is for one-time payments on the platform. So the site owner has to create two sub accounts for the site. So while creating a sub account, it will ask for the details uh, such as the name of the site and other details. So you can you can see that already this one is set. It will ask for the home page URL, the site name, approval URL, and some other details. So and uh, once this is done, uh, once a sub account is created for single billing and recurring. So for recurring, uh, so the minimum value is uh, two point nine five dollars as a test account, and the period by default is thirty days. So once a sub account is created, we need to do the second step, which is web book. So we need to uh, have the uh, web book um, URL. So for that particular website. So and make sure that uh, uh, it's updated here. So right now you can see that web book uh, URL is updated for the site fan. So that is one sub account you can see that. And uh, pricing admin. So next is the pricing admin. So you can see that uh, you can go and uh, you know update uh, your uh, Details, sub account information anytime. You can go and change your sub account information. Suppose if it's a single uh, billing, you can go and update it to recurring. So you can also uh, update the pricing. You can see this uh, ID and uh, what is the service type, etc. So, so uh, one sub account will be for single and one sub account will be for recurring on the platform. So here the site owner has to provide the client account number that is provided here you can see that and uh, here and then he can provide the account one is for the single purchase and the other one is for recurring and he needs to give the uh, flex forms flex form id as well as the salt key so flex uh, so first of all the sub account created here by the um, site owner has to be approved by ccible so once it is approved by ccible only then uh, it can be provided and it will function so on also on the advanced settings we have one option that says uh, that will ask to update uh, items like salt key and this is the salt key so this has to be uh, provided by cc bill as well so once you create a sub account and it is approved by cc bill you can ask for the salt key in the chat cc bill uh, will have chat uh, so you can chat with any uh, customer uh, service employees and get it uh, get the uh, salt key for this particular merchant account and uh, you can paste the uh, salt key here so this is salt key which can be um, you know you can communicate with easy bill and you can have this and uh, this is the flex form id so uh, uh, flex form id will be present for each uh, account so this has to be copied and paste uh, pasted so you can see the flex form id here so you can see flex form id for each uh, sub accounts so this is uh, for example if you are going to cop, uh, copy any id suppose that the sub account is 49 or sub account is 50 you can just copy this id this is going to be the uh, flex form id that has to be uh, copied and pasted from the back end so uh, this is how he has to configure if he has uh, cc bill data link user uh, or data link password he can also apply that uh, and uh, if there is uh, even if it is left without uh, filling that's not a problem so this way um, he can actually configure the site owner can configure cc bill settings on the back end so thank you